What's up, fam? Big Rob here, Chaos Nutrition, coming to you from the Valley of the Sun, where it's a balmy 70 degrees, loving the weather right now. This is that time of year just before uh, summer gets hot as hell. So we're in a little bit of reprieve, where the weather was a little cold for a while, and uh, now we're starting to get that little like uh, spring weather. Pretty awesome times. Um, topic of discussion today, Hottest topic going on in the world right now, uh, besides the bullshit COVID narrative, um, is uh, Joe Rogan. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? So Joe Rogan, let's let's just uh, get get right to the chase, right? Let's just get right to it. Joe Rogan beats COVID, goes on his nationally syndicated podcast radio show, and basically goes against the entire narrative of COVID-19 by saying and declaring that ivermectin along with some other over-the-counter cocktail bombs that he was taking, which includes vitamins, minerals, sunlight, basic stuff, uh, cured him of COVID. Well, the powers that be uh, went on a little bit of a onslaught in the beginning. Then they backed off just a little bit. They called it, uh, you know, horse medicine, that sort of thing. And uh, all of a sudden, then you had a few of these kind of by the wayside superstars pull their music from Spotify. That started to gain a little bit of ground. Next thing you know, there's this whole boycott to get rid of Joe Rogan. And uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the news wires are saying just that. They, uh, they've cut him from Spotify. Now, not because of COVID-19. No, 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 no. Uh, they are saying because of a compilation of the term of the N-word being used uh, excessively throughout his podcast. Now, this spans over a decade of using the N-word. Now, oftentimes he was using the N-word uh, in self-described, saying that, you know, covering the news or, or citing someone that had said the word. Uh, and he's basically just reiterating what they're saying although probably not his place to do so, uh, Joe Rogan never really ever pulled punches. And uh, guys like Chris Cormier and, uh, you know, some other really badasses never really had a problem with him. Uh, now, his managers, his producers, everyone that's a part of the Joe Rogan podcast show knew about this stuff, okay? This isn't like new news. This is just something that they're conjuring up to uh, silence them, but not because of the N-word, guys, because we just put it up there today. Uh, you know, David Harris put it up this morning. I reposted it. Uh, you got Howard Stern using blackface um, along with Mr. Jefferson there uh, dropping the N-bomb constantly. Nobody really cares about it unless you go against the narrative. And then, of course, the platform that they gave you, they're going to take it from you, and that's what they're doing to Joe Rogan right now. Um, and, and, and that's what they're doing. So he went against the narrative. Uh, the elite, they really don't like it. And they're completely pissed off that, uh, you know, it, it, it probably was probably one of the matches that set the fire up in Canada, uh, where, you know, you got people saying, really, if I took ivermectin and, uh, I, I took this multivitamin, I went outside, got some sunlight. You're telling me I had a better chance of beating COVID than going to the hospital where I got sicker where I had a trait put in me? Yeah, that, that's what he's saying. And so by saying that and by doing that, this is what the elite do best, is they're going to hit you in the pocket, just like did, did Donald Trump, just like they did Alex Jones, just like they do everyone, okay? They can't assassinate you, so they will character assassinate you. And that's exactly what they do. Because, well, the easiest way to silence you is to make you go broke. You can't really speak when you don't have a platform, correct? So it didn't work this time around with Joe Rogan. I think they picked the wrong guy. Now, you've also got Shaquille O'Neal who came out the other day and said, hey, you know, if people want to take the shot, let them. If they don't, they should also have a choice. Now, Mr. Shaquille O'Neal, uh, he, he's got a lot of clout. And he's got that kind of fuck you money where not much you're going to really tell him is going to change his day. So he's a big fish. Um, I don't know the, how they're going to silence him. Um, if they try to, it's going to be a disaster. 
So they took a shot at Rogan and it failed. I believe as of today even, um, you've got uh, a few other heavy hitters coming after Rogan and offering them hundreds of million dollars to join their platform. I believe Rumble was one of them. So $100 million, sign the deal, you're over there. Screw Spotify. Really, not many people that I know of uh, enlist Spotify. Mostly it's iTunes. Uh, those of you that have iPhones, that sort of thing. Um, but the cancel culture's over. No one's playing this game anymore. All right? It, it, it's a done deal. We're not playing the game. We don't want the participation trophies. All right? We're not interested. All that, all that yickety-yak bullshit is over with. If you got something to really stand on, say it when it happens. When, when it was 12 years ago and it was fresh coming out, say something then. You know, not, not 12 years later. I mean, this is just horseshit. So we all know what it's about. And if you don't know, this right here hopefully educated you to let you understand that it wasn't the N-word that got Joe Rogan in trouble like MSNBC, CNN, uh, maybe even Fox News is going to report on. No, no, no. Let's get it straight. Don't get it twisted. It was because he beat COVID without having to go to the hospital with ivermectin. They do not like that. It does not, it does not put any money in their coffers, okay? They're not going to make an extra $30,000 on each person by you taking ivermectin for 40 bucks and uh, taking care of yourself. No, they're going to demonize it and they're going to do exactly what they did to them. Um, and they found a way where they could try to do it and they failed. So that cancel culture, it's dead on arrival. We're done with it. We're done with the participation trophies. We're done with the beta cuck males. It's over. Now, you've also got Biden out there dropping end bombs. I mean, that guy, he's a, he's a disaster in his own right. Uh, we all know how he got there. It was fraudulent election. It just is what it is. They're they they're probably going to plan on something similar in 2024. They've already got one of the justices the other day. Didn't even know that he was retiring. Uh, last I knew, I thought when you got promoted to the Supreme Court, uh, it was a, a that was a lifetime appointment. Uh, you don't really just uh, walk away from it and retire unless you're deathly ill like Ginsburg and the rest of them, where they're just clinging to life and not even getting to vote, they, they, they just go and wear the black robe and show up for a picture. This guy, he looks great. He looks healthier than Joe B. But nope, he's got to retire. Yep, forced retirement, got to go. He probably didn't even know. He showed up for work one day and they're like, hey, bud, you're gone. And uh, that, that's just the way it goes because they've got to they've got to fill that seat with somebody who's going to play ball. Maybe he just won't. I don't know. So it's going to be pretty interesting as we go down here and, and go down this pipeline uh, to see what's what's going to be next. It's a pretty wild ride. Um, you know, like I've always said, just get your house in order. Do what you can to take care of yourself. And uh, let's, you know, one day at a time, man. Cancel this uh, bullshit culture that's, that's kind of uh, reared its ugly head. Um, big shout out to those up north, man, in Canada. You're up there doing your damn thing. Very proud of you. Taking back your country. Telling Trudeau to fuck off. Um, you know, it's huge. I wish you, here in the United States, something would take off uh, where people would, you know, the thing is here in the United States is there's this facade that you're open and free, but you're really not. Um, yeah, you're able to go to the gym, you're able to do this, that, and the other, but uh, they know what they're doing behind the scenes and their narrative just fell apart. If it didn't fall apart, trust me, they weren't going to have you open. I can't speak for the rest of the country. I know here in Arizona, we've been pretty open and free for a little bit of time. Um, but that, that we should have never closed. So I, I'm never going to take a victory and, oh, we got our freedom back. We should have never lost it. So with all that being said, hope you're out there staying safe, uh, staying dedicated to your cause, doing what's right, doing what's best, and uh, staying ride or die for your circle, man. Uh, pay attention to the news. If, if you don't have a whole lot of time out of your day, take five, ten minutes. Just click on some things. Stay aware. All right. You don't need to, to know this stuff verbatim. You don't need to, uh, you know, digest it and then, you know, spit it out if you're not interested, but at least stay aware for your own, you know, your own well-being and your family's well-being, you know, start getting prepared, put some food away, put some water away. Just, you know, uh, you don't have to go psych psychotic about it, but at least get your house in order. Uh, head over to chaosnutrition.com, get some supplements in your body, get your mind, your body right. You'll be able to get some stamina up so that you can withstand, you know, an onslaught of a couple days of missing a meal or, you know, maybe you're just not feeling well because, you know, you got the COVID or who, who knows, but stock up. All the things I have on my website have been discounted. I got athletes codes um, and, and, and shipping is always free. 
So head over to the website, chaosnutrition.com. Take a look there. Um, always rep, you know, our, our athletes. Take a look at them. Give them praise. Great people uh, doing great things. And I uh, couldn't do it without them. Can't do it without you. So uh, I appreciate your likes, your subscriptions, and, uh, you know, your business. Because without you, uh, Chaos Nutrition is not viable. So thank you all for all that you do. I appreciate you. And uh, like I said, stay ride or die. Stay uh, dedicated to your circle. And we'll see this thing through. So until uh, next time, guys, I'm out.